I don't think people are stupid, but some of them just have bad luck when they're thinking. Welcome to the Academy of Photography, Christian Chudo here. Today I'm going to show you a very simple exercise how to synchronize an external flash gun to your camera. This is a simple camera, it's not high-end, this is a 70D, but I'm pretty sure all the entry-level DSLRs with the pop-up flash these days will have this function and this facility. So you can synchronize your camera with your flash. You can shoot with the pop-up flash only, or you can add something to the mix and you're gonna get outstanding results. The idea is to control that flash with the camera. You will step up your game with this technique so you will avoid all those awful Facebook photos when people are shooting straight with the flash in your face. I never shoot with the flash towards the subject, I always try to use something else, try to use it wirelessly and uh, the best thing is that you don't need the wireless trigger. That's the best thing, you don't need to worry about any other equipment, as simple as that. I'm gonna do a few exercises, I'm gonna show you how it's done on the camera and on the flash and today I'm gonna use again my uh, creepy mannequin head so let's see what we get so I'm gonna start with the camera settings I'm gonna turn the camera on this is a 70D I'm pretty sure all the Canon cameras will have similar menus turn on the menu I'm gonna go to the second place flash control so on flash control I am going to flash firing enabled, ETTL2 evaluative, but that's not the point. And very important is I am going to go into the built-in flash settings and I'm going to actually activate. Usually this is this de deactivated, but I'm gonna activate this function. Now, this symbol is for controlling the external flash only, and this symbol will be to trigger both. So I'm gonna select both for the time being. Channel, you can modify the channel if you have different channels, but that's not the point. And today, uh, flash output, this is measuring the power of the pop-up flash firing group. Just select this one. And the flash output is very important because this is controlling the power of the external flash. Remember, you won't be able to set it directly on the flash. You need to do it in the camera. That's about it for the camera. Now let's go through the uh, settings of the flash. This is a uh, Canon 580EX, but I'm pretty sure all the Canon flashes will be similar. So you need to look for this symbol, which is like a uh, broken arrow. I'm gonna keep this for a few seconds. It's gonna start blinking and I'm gonna rotate this dial. It says master and it says slave. So in this case, my flash is a slave, so it will take direction from the pop-up flash, which will become the master. I'm gonna set it on as channel. So if you need to change the channel, you need to make sure that is the same channel with the, uh, with the camera. Now, I would not worry about the ETTL or the mode because the, uh, the camera will tell the flash exactly which mode. So you need to pay attention on that one. I would suggest for the time being is to use mode, manual mode, instead of ETTL, just to make sure you can control and you get the same amount of light. With the ETTL, you might get different kind of light depending uh, every time you focus and uh, the camera will measure the light, you might get a different result. So in principle, that's about it. So I just showed you how to synchronize uh, the camera with the flash and you should be able to do this. You need to pay attention to set up the ETTL on the camera or the manual. You can't do it here, it will override immediately. So whatever you're doing here for the mode, it will be overridden. Important thing is just to make it as a slave and you should play with the settings as you would see fit. Also the power, you need to play as many times as you can because this is the way to learn and you will be in control of the uh, light and in control of the result and not the other way around. So I would recommend using the manual mode instead of ETTL because you're gonna get the same amount of light every time. You can play with the flash back and forth in order to decrease the level of light on the subject or you can play when you're a little bit more advanced, you can play with other settings as well. But that's not the point. I think for today is enough and I'm gonna do a few exercises just to show you how using uh, this simple technique, remote flash, will give you some very interesting results other than everyone is taking with a pop-up flash or with a phone. So 
So I just I set up the flash on a tripod. Obviously you need the tripod. I'm gonna take a measurement with the camera like I wouldn't really care if I have the flash or not. So pop up flash, uh, pop up flash down and uh, this is not gonna trigger. So I'm gonna measure the right exposure. This is perfect. This, uh, the camera exposed it properly. So now I'm gonna pop up the flash and see what we're gonna get. Obviously the image is overexposed, so right now I am going to set up the ISO manual and I'm gonna play with the settings until I am actually happy with the result. It's starting to get somewhere, so I'm gonna decrease the exposure just to compensate for the extra light we're gonna get. This looks much better than you would have just a normal pop-up flash. So basically this is studio quality with the any kit camera and the kit lens. So just to spice things up, I'm gonna place the flash behind, so we'll see what we get. very interesting results so right now I have the flash behind the subject and I'm gonna move around to see what we're gonna get I'm gonna do one more try and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna disable this flash this pop-up flash just to make sure I'm gonna get only the other flash so wireless function disable so right now I just set up my camera to trigger only the external flash so this one won't trigger let's see what we get This is a good example what you can do with just a normal DSLR. It doesn't have to be expensive, it doesn't have to be high-end, even with the entry-level DSLRs with the pop-up flash. And with a simple flash, not even expensive as that one, you can achieve outstanding results. You can set up the flash up, down, both sides. You can use several flashes and I can guarantee you're going to get outstanding results. I would be interested to see if you put this into practice. If you take this exercise on board and you get great results, just send them to me. I'm happy to publish them for the other people to see and to look at. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Until I see you next time, I wish you happy shooting.